All right, concerns over the Zika virus have focused mainly on pregnant women and how the virus affects their babies. Yeah, but eye-opening new research taking place right here in San Diego is showing adults and children infected by the virus could also have some long-lasting effects. This reminds me of what's really important. <laughs> Dr. Sujan Charesta has two very big reasons for doing the work she does, her two children. I think I am a better scientist because of them. It forces me to be efficient. It forces me to really focus on what's the most important question. Zika, you know, the virus may cause damage to adults. The most important question for Dr. Charesta, what is Zika and how does it affect the human brain? That's what she and her team of scientists have been working on for months here at the Centers for Infectious Disease at the La Jolla Institute for Allergy and Immunology. Scientists know how the Zika virus affects babies born with microcephaly, where the brain does not develop properly, but... Can the virus do the same in adult brain? Dr. Sharesta and her lab techs found it can. They infected adult mice with the Zika virus in a controlled study and under certain circumstances... Learning, memory can be impacted, maybe not immediately, but perhaps even decades later. Maybe the person will have an early onset of Alzheimer's or depression. And remember, Zika is a virus. Children are not immune to it. Children are outdoors. If they're in this, you know, Zika-transmitting countries and they're outdoors with these mosquitoes, they are being infected. The effects of Zika for children are not fully understood. Unlike adults, their brains are still developing. So the study continues. She's saying, Mama, this is the sun. And Dr. Sharesta has two very good reasons to find the answers. Steve Atkinson, 10 News. And the findings uh, from the study were published this week. As a result, researchers are asking public health organizations to closely monitor Zika infections in all groups, not just pregnant women.